Welcome to our video about navigating the Trent University Academic Timetable. The Academic Timetable is where you can find a list of all course offerings for each academic year and summer term. This video will provide you with information on how to access and understand the Academic Timetable, which will be useful when choosing and registering for your courses. Please note that steps for registering in courses can be found in additional videos. To access the Timetable, you will begin on the Trent University homepage. First, select the menu at the top right corner and choose Academics and click on the Academic Timetable. Then select Undergraduate Timetable in the center of the page and click Explore the Undergraduate Timetable. The Academic Timetable is also available in your MyTrent portal. It can be found under Registrar, under the Courses subsection. The priority registration dates are listed at the top of the page. This is where you can determine the date and time when you can begin to register for your courses based on how many credits you have completed. During priority registration, students can register in courses in their major or majors for which they have the prerequisites and in any courses that do not have limited enrollment. Next, you are asked to select both the term and the location while you are eligible to take courses at either the Peterborough or Durham campuses, it is important to make sure that you are choosing courses offered at your desired campus. I will choose the Peterborough campus. After selecting the appropriate timetable parameters, you can navigate through the courses by discipline. Choose the disciplines you are interested in, as well as the course or year level. For this example, we are going to be looking at first year psychology. The four letter code indicates the general discipline of the course. PSYC is psychology. The four digit number following, in this case 1020, indicates the specific course code. You will see that there are letters directly following the four digit course code. Each letter indicates something different. H indicates that it is a half credit course running for either the fall or winter term. Y indicates that it is a full credit course running through both the fall and winter terms. The letter after this corresponds with each section of the course where A indicates that it is the section A of the course and B indicates that it is the section B of the course. W indicates that it is a web course and that it will take place online. R indicates that a portion of the course has a remote component. Typically, there are multiple sections offered for larger courses. Please note that the days, times, delivery method, and instructors can differ between different sections of the same course. Let's take a look at an example. GESO 1001HR R means that there is a remote component to the course. The instructions column shows us that this course has an asynchronous online lecture and a 50-minute in-person seminar. Section RFO1 has a seminar that runs in-person in Autonomy College, room 104, on Thursdays from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Room locations can change up until the time classes start, so it's important to check the timetable regularly to check on room locations. Following this, you will see letters indicating the term in which the course takes place. Courses taking place in the fall will be designated with an F, and courses taking place in the winter will be designated with a W. Courses that take place for the entire academic year are indicated by a Y. The term column also lists this information, with FA meaning fall and WI meaning winter, and then FW meaning both fall and winter. The status column is next. If the status is listed as open, then there is room in the course and you can register in it when registration opens. 
If the status is listed as closed, there is no room in that section of the course, or you are viewing the timetable before registration for the 2023-24 academic year has opened. We are recording this video before registration has started, so all academic sections are showing as open. Please refer to the important dates section of the academic calendar to see when course registration closes. The next section is the synonym column, where the six digit synonym is listed for each section of a course. We used to use synonyms to register in courses in the past, but now you can just search for your course in self-service, so you don't need to worry about this column. The description column of the timetable indicates the name of each course. Under the crosslist column, you will be able to see whether courses are crosslisted across multiple departments. Crosslisted courses may not be double counted between joint major requirements. For example, History 2020 is crosslisted with English Literature. It may be counted for credit as a history course or an English Literature course. Please note that cross-listed courses will only show up as one department on your transcript. If in self-service you search for History 2020, then the course will show as a history credit on your record. If you search for English 2020, then it will show as an English credit on your record. The campus, building, and room columns indicate the location and room number the course will take place in. It is important that you ensure the campus listed is the one you plan to attend. There are also a variety of web courses offered, indicated by web-based course in the campus column. The building and room columns will be filled in closer to when classes begin. The instructions column is an important one to reference as special notes about the course can be found here. For example, Business Administration 4890YR is a remote, synchronous internship course. The instructions column notes this and also indicates that there are application deadlines. For courses like these, we encourage you to look at your department's website for further information. The type column indicates which type of class each course will have. LEC indicates that it is a lecture. LAB indicates that it is a lab. And SEM indicates that it is a seminar. When a course has a lecture and multiple seminar, lab, or workshop options, you register in the course by choosing the specific section that you want. Our video on how to find and register in courses gives you detailed instructions on how to do this with self-service. In reviewing the timetable, I've decided that I want to register in Chem 2100, and I want to register in Section 4. To do so, I will type the, the course code in the search bar, and then I will navigate into the available sections and find section 4. And I will add section to my plan. The day column indicates the day on which the course takes place. The start column indicates the time that the course begins and the end column indicates the time that the course ends. Finally, the faculty column includes the course instructor's name, when it is posted. It is important to note that some courses have restricted sections that are reserved for specific programs. For example, this forensic science course, FRSC 1100A, is restricted to science students. Only students registered in a BSc degree can register for this section of FRSC 1100H. It is therefore important to review any notes listed in the instructions column to ensure you are selecting a course section that is open to you. This concludes our video about navigating the Trent University academic timetable. For more information on the course registration process, make sure you visit the Academic Advising website where you can find the four steps to register in your courses and additional video tutorials walking you through this process.